I've been working on a prototype for adding voice commands to Visual Studio just to kind of see how it would feel like if, if I could control Visual Studio uh, just uh, with my voice. So what I wanted to do was to uh, look at all the different commands in Visual Studio. Often uh, these commands are here in the menus and um, the goal here is that I want to be able to speak um, one of these commands and uh, have the Visual Studio execute them. So um, I have an extension here that gives me a single feature called uh, Start Listening. Uh, I can also access it through Alt F1. And basically, it does exactly that. It starts to listen for, for a few seconds, and um, it will map whatever it is I'm saying to a Visual Studio command. And uh, I can say any of the things that uh, I see here in the menus. Um, so whatever text is here, I can speak, and Visual Studio should execute that command. So let's see how that works. Okay, I'm going to hit Alt F1. Solution Explorer. Okay. So one thing that I forget often is um, the error list down here that I, uh, I sometimes close it. And then when I need it, uh, it's gone and I have to go up in view and, and find it right here. So let's try that. Error list. And we see here it works pretty nice. I can access all sorts of uh, commands. So let's try some other ones. Options. All right. Uh, I can also do stuff like that's in the code editor itself. So here I have a C sharp file and the formatting looks a little bit uh, off. So let's try to format the document. I hit Alt F1 again. Format document. And it does as, uh, as I expected. Of course, I can undo what I've done. So let's try that. Undo. So it's actually pretty nice the way that it, it lets me execute all the different commands. And the accuracy, I was very surprised, is really, really good. This is built upon the, uh, the regular Windows speech API that's built into Windows. So you can, also, you can just use that engine to train the voice, uh, your voice, uh, so it's very accurate. I haven't done any training with uh, with the speech API here in, uh, in in my installation of Windows. I just use the, the thing out of the box, and it works really really well. Uh, so we can do other other things. So let, let's take a look here. At I'm in I'm in an ASP.NET MVC controller, and I'm in this JSON login action method. So in a in an MVC controller, you usually have uh, some views that goes along with it. So I want to create a new view. So I should be able to just say add a new view. So let's try it. Add view. And we can see here how it just pops up. So very, very interesting. Um, it's a free download on the Visual Studio Gallery. So I hope that you're going to enjoy it and uh, test it and, and give me a lot of feedback. So thanks for watching.